Hi everyone and welcome to my channel, my name is Katarina. Today's video is going to be my first update for the Budget Beauties Project Pan. That is a collaboration with the Fantastic Ladies Facebook group. I will of course link the group down to the description box as well as the creator of this project, Floralisa. So this is a three month project that goes from October 17th through January 17th. So this is the update number one, we do monthly updates. This is a project where we do pick from four to six products that are affordable, drugstore price beauty products, they can be makeup or something else beauty related. So yeah, let's just get into this update. I have not finished up anything, there is no goal met yet, however there is very good progress. So let me start with the most apparent one. So my goal is to use the Essence Silky Touch Plus in the set Natural Beauty completely. And I will show you a picture where I was in the intro video. Here is where I am now. So I don't know if you can see it because I'm not going to take off the lid, but I actually did drop this and it shattered. I'm so pissed off. I think it happened earlier this week or during last weekend, but it's not too long ago since that happened because I had made such a great progress. There was really, really not that much product left. I knew I wasn't able to finish it before this update, but I just wanted for you to see the progress I made, but now it's just shattered, so I cannot really show it to you, but trust me, there was a lot progress and I am very sure that I will finish this blush before the next update. I'm sad about this, but at the same time I'm glad that it was this blush that I broke and not something new or something more expensive. Then let's talk about the NYX matte lipstick in Alabama. So this is a warm, little bit deeper brick red lipstick from NYX. As you can see there is quite much product still left. So my goal is not to finish it up, my goal is to use it 30 times during this project. I have had lip products in Project Pants earlier and they are not my favorite product to pan because I can get a little bit bored if I'm wearing the same lipstick over and over. However, red is my favorite lip color ever. I way rather put on red lipstick than a nude lipstick. And I know I'm kind of like weirdo in that. Many people love to wear nude, but I love to wear red. Let me talk about the progress I have actually made with this lipstick. So I do have here my project panning diary and I do have here a page for this particular project. So I do have here a calculator where I can mark each time when I do use that lipstick. So after the intro video, and I actually did in the intro video wear that, so that time that wear was also counted in this calculator. But after that I have worn this 12 times. So I am very well on time with that lipstick. If I want to reach my goal and use that lipstick 30 times before the finale, it is enough if I wear it 10 times between updates and now I have worn it 12 times. So I'm excited about that. And I do have here markings of how much use I have gotten. The line on the top is the intro. And after a month of usage and after 12 uses during the month, the bottom line is where I am currently. So I'm actually really excited to see that line going down. I have never ever before measured how much the lipstick goes down, so I'm really really excited about this. Then let's talk about the most boring product in this project. So this product itself is boring in my opinion, it's a brow gel, but another thing is that I really don't know how much progress I have made. So this is the Catrice Eyebrow Filler Gel. I have been using this eyebrow gel daily, but I cannot see inside the tube, so I don't know how much there is left. Then the last product I do have in this project is the ELF Matte for Matte Eyeshadow Palette. Let me show you a picture where I was last month with this palette. 
and this is what my palette currently looks like. As you can see, there is no new pants showing, but these pants are bigger. And my goal is to have hit pan on all of these five lighter shades when this project ends. So I want to see pan on these shades that you can see right now. So there is not new pants showing yet, but there is quite much of a dent in this beige shade and I'm quite sure it will be the next shade that I'm going to hit pan on. I'm actually wearing that shade today in my crease. I'm wearing this palette with my pan that palette that is the BH Cosmetics Coral Bible palette and I have especially been wearing this eye look that I'm wearing today. So this deeper brown smoky eye and I have been loving the look. I must admit that I am kinda conflicted about this palette. I used to love this, however, I don't really love this as much as I used to love. I honestly don't think this quality is that great. These e.l.f. palettes get a lot of hype on YouTube and I guess I kinda fall into the hype. I don't think these are super bad eyeshadows. I have totally used eyeshadows that are much worse. However, I think they are not really that good either compared to many other matte eyeshadows in my collection like some high-end mattes that are really really high quality or even some lower price point mattes. For example, I think BH Cosmetics makes better matte eyeshadow formula. The thing with these shadows is that I feel they lack in pigmentation. There is three shades in this palette that I do really like. So I do like this beige this Salmon and this Brick Red. And why I like them is that they work on my fair skin very well as transition and crease shades. However, the rest of the shades are not that good in my opinion. And even these are probably something that if you have a deeper skin tone than me, you maybe wouldn't like them that much. The problem for my skin tone with these two of the lightest shade is that you really cannot see them that well. If I want to put a light eyeshadow to my brow bone to highlight, I really want it to be pigmented. And unfortunately, I feel like these are really not that pigmented, like they don't keep that pop to your brow bone. I feel they are a little bit like a sheer foundation powder, where there is little bit pigment, but then it shears out. Then with these deeper shades, they are just not good. If I want to go in with deep brown eyeshadow, I want it to be deep brown. I want it to make my look more smoky, but these do not do that. Today I am wearing this brown on my outer corner. I wanted to deepen up the look, but this is just not pigmented enough. It kind of just gives a little bit more brown in the look, but it really doesn't give that depth and smokiness that I would desire for this look. So yeah, I don't think they are the best quality. I have tried to make myself believe that I love this palette. And one thing where I do really, really like this palette is that this is a great travel palette. The size is perfect and there is many shades I can benefit from when I'm traveling. However, I'm quite sure that after this project, I'm going to declutter this palette since I do have max in my collection that are just so much better quality. I'm really glad I put this to this project. Sometimes it's a little bit annoying to use this with my Panda palette when I know that I would have better quality matte eyeshadows in my drawers. However, I am very determined to keep this in this project. I want to see those pans in the lightest shades of the palette. So I am going to keep this palette in this project and I don't want to make too quick decisions. Then let's just very quickly talk about my goals for the next update. So no new pants sewing yet. However, I really, really hope that I can see a pan on this base shade before my next update and I'm quite sure I will hit pan before that. It would also be amazing if I can hit pan on this reddish brown, but I think first I'm going to focus on this base shade. We'll see where I am with this in the next update and if my thoughts about this have changed in any way or form, but right now 
I'm happy to use it. I don't hate it. It's if I really hate it, it if it was so disgusting to use this every day, I wouldn't. I would just, you know, put this off from this project. However, I don't hate it. I like to use it every day. I think it's a very easy go-to palette, but it's also not my favorite palette ever because I know there is better quality even in my own drawers. So yeah. But we'll see what I think in the next update. I cannot wait to see that. So yeah, I think it was everything for this update and this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, please put thumbs up and see you in my next video. Bye bye.